Welcome back to another episode of the Casey Campbell podcast. Casey Campbell with you, of course. Pleased to be joined by Carson Brown. How's it going, man? It's going good. You? Doing well. Um, So you're going to be a busy kid next week. Um, uh, Tell everybody what you're going to be doing. So we are racing the Car Store Late Mall Stock Portion at North Wilkesboro with Bruce Cook Racing. Yeah. If you haven't heard that, uh, that big, that, that race is a uh, race of between that and the ASA race, that's got a lot of people uh, signed up for that. And, uh, you know, obviously tons and tons of drivers that you see regularly in the NASCAR cup series. Um, have you ever raced against any of those guys or what's that going to be like? Have you kind of thought about it a little bit? Oh yeah, it's going to be awesome. I'm just grateful to have the opportunity to do that race. Um, never raced. I thought I'd be able to do, um, I've raced a little bit in the micros at Millbridge with Kyle Larson and Daniel Suarez and some of the other drivers, but not like it's going to be a North Wilkes bro. Yeah. Have you ever been to North Wilkes? Have you ever raced there? So I've ran three laps around there in a limited light model. So not much experience. Yeah. So that's, uh, you know, going to this big race and just, you know, everyone's going to have to, a year, probably going to, everyone's going to have to get in. So what's that, you know, the pressures of doing that and uh, with, with, uh, with this big race is, you know, how big the cars tour has especially gotten with since the new ownership took over. Yeah, there's definitely going to be a lot of pressure. The stands are going to be packed. So it's just going to be an awesome weekend all around. Yeah. Um, are you, so to, since the last time we had you on to kind of talk about like, you know, what you've been up to, like racing wise, what do you remind everybody what you're doing this year? Yes. We've been racing with Rackley a decent amount. Um, we don't know if we have anything planned. We're hoping to get some more things on the schedule with them. Um, but we're also doing stuff with Mike Marler and Delk Marler um, development. So that's been pretty good. We haven't really gotten to race much with that because just rain outs every single race we go to gets rained out right now with them but a lot of micros at millbridge with carver racing so it's been good yeah the weather's not been no there's not been too kind across the country um so what's um uh how do you how do you prepare for a race like north wilkesboro and with all these big cup drivers and stuff in it yeah you try and get on the sim do what you can to prep and just look at previous races even though there's not going to be a ton of races on gopro or whatever um, but talk to everybody about game plan and just looking forward to it and see how we can do. The biggest story is it's like, you know, these, you know, a lot of these veterans and then a lot of these, like, you know, you know, a lot of kids are going to be in there too. I mean, you know, just, uh, just to remind everybody how old you are. I'm 14. So yeah, there will be a lot of younger drivers in this field for sure. Did you ever think you'd be racing against cup drivers at 14 years old? Not at all. No, not at all. It's, uh, yeah, I mean, like, uh, did, did you watch, have you watched like any races at the, at the track? Like, you know, whether it's live or something like that there and outside of the laps that you did, but did you, if, have you watched any races over there? So I went over there for Joey Coulter's modified race. Um, he did that modified race over there and I went over to support him because he helps me a lot in racing. So, yeah. Yeah, I went out there and supported him. Yeah. So what's that uh so going around a track like that, what are some of the things that you've kind of noticed about that race, about that track to get around it? It's very worn out for sure. Um I haven't seen it since they renovated and did, did all their other stuff. So I'm not quite sure what they've done. Um but very worn out surface. The asphalt was kind of chunking up a little bit and the pits were very rough. Um so we'll see what they've done to it when we go back. How many times have you asked Ron Hornaday about um uh, about North Wilkesboro? Not really. We haven't talked about it much. Um, I still have yet to talk to him about that, so I probably will hear coming up. Yeah. What's well, like? Well, yeah, I I, I know I ask you every time you talk about this, but what's it like to have somebody like him, uh, you know, helping you out? Uh, I know Ron and Candace and everybody at Team Hornaday really have uh, kind of put in a put in a big effort. What what's that like? Oh, it's awesome. Yeah, I'm just grateful to be the kid that they're supporting and just be on their side because they help me out a lot from off track and on track. And Ron's always a phone call away and help. He'll always help me out no matter what. So he's an awesome dude just to be around and have him helping me. Are you nervous for this week, this next week? A little bit. Um, yeah, the nerves are definitely there with the history and everything 
going on all star weekend, but yeah, I'm still feeling really confident about it. Yeah. What's that going to be, you know, you know, everyone's going to have to get in, you know, on speed and all that stuff. Like, uh, what's it, what, what's going to really hit you? It's like, I'm racing in North Wilkesboro against people I grew up watching. Yeah. We're just gonna have to focus in talk to the crew members, see what we have as a race car and see what we can do out there on the time sheet. So like before a race, what are you, what are you like? Are you kind of quiet or are you just like, I, I want to talk to everybody I can. Um, I'm quiet until the track and then I'll start talking to people and seeing what the game plan is and in person, see what the final plan is to just see how we can do and what they're doing with the car and track and what to do. Like, well, how do you get, do you, how do you get like pumped up for a race? Do you just like, do you just talk to everybody? Do you put headphones in or what do you do? I really just talk to everybody, talk to some of the other drivers, what they're feeling and just how they're doing too. And like what they do sometimes, um, that helps a lot. Yeah, for sure. And, um, uh, you yeah, know, and then after North Wilkesboro, where are we going to see you after this? So we're planning around the full car store. So we'll be running pretty much all of that. And then we're doing Millbridge and the micro with the carb racing. And we're planning to do much more dirt stuff with Mike Marler and the super dirt late model. But right. we don't have much plan with that because everything kind of just pops up last minute. Yeah. All right. Well, well, Carson, thank you so much um, for taking some time to talk with us. And uh, it's going to be a busy week for you next week at North Wilkesboro. So best of luck there, bud. It will. Thank you.